The Ministry of Tourism and Culture on Tuesday updated the public on the Regional Tourism Recovery Plan approved by African Tourism Ministers in Nairobi, Kenya in July 2021. The plan dubbed Nairobi Tourism Recovery Plan aims at reinforcing measures that have been developed and implemented at national levels to boost tourism. Speaking at a press conference, Honorable Hamad Enkeba, Minister of Tourism and Culture, gives the number of flights getting in and out of Banjul. Uh, the Minister of Tourism and Culture is pleased to inform the gathering of the latest flight operations to the Gambia in which Tui Netherlands started its operation on the 19th of February with a Boeing 737-800 series after two years of absence due to COVID-19 pandemic. They will operate all year round and plans are on the way to increase two group flights frequencies to 12 flights per week from 2022 to 2023 winter season. Six flights from Holland, two flights from Belgium, four flights from the United Kingdom. Destination Gambia currently receives 53 flights per week at the Banjul International Airport. Chartered flights are 16 flights scheduled flights are 37 flights per week respectively. The chartered flight includes uh, uh, Corendon, three flights a week, two UK, four flights a week, uh, Gambia Experience, two flights a week, two Holland, two flights a week, TAP Portugal, three flights a week, Violin, two flights a week, and hopefully Rainbow will be flying once a week from Poland. We are working on that. We are also working on trying to get back uh, Binta Canaria. Discussions are on the way. Uh, there are financial requirements they've put before us, and we are trying to see how we can work it out. He states that his ministry and the Gambia Tourism Board will continue working with stakeholders to promote the tourism industry. Friends, for us. The Ministry of Tourism and Culture and the Gambia Tourism Board will continue to work with its tourism stakeholders towards restoring more confidence and tourism growth for destination Gambia that can translate into more flights and visitors to destination Gambia. In the same vein, other achievements of the Ministry of Tourism and Culture are that the Ministry, in collaboration with the Gambia Tourism Board, had coordinated on several occasions vaccination campaign and exercises in various locations in the tourism development area for employees of the tourism industry to be vaccinated in order to boost customer confidence on destination Gambia as a safe travel. Minister Ba adds that in collaboration with other stakeholders, his ministry would organize a national festival to commemorate the 200th anniversary of arrival of free slaves in the 18th century. Yes. For the National Center for Arts and Culture, the NCSC, with support from the Ministry of Tourism, Gambia Tourism Board, has continued to financially support the successful organization of festival in the past two months. Alone, close to 10 festivals and more are coming for Kankuran Festival, GT Board supported uh, over 550,000 to ensure a successful festival. Other festivals supported by NCAC and GT Board are as follows. Kankuran Festival, that's the Janjambure one. Next year, we intend to have it at a national level because it will be 200 years anniversary for the arrival of slaves at, 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 at Janjambure, free slaves from Janjambure. We will need to have a national festival for that one because we want to make it international. The 200 years of arrival of, uh, of return of slaves uh, to Janjambure. Banjul was 2016, and Janjambure was 2022. 2023, yes. So 1823. So we want to internationalize that one. And of course, have an international festival where Root Festival also will be incorporated. So we'll have one week of festivities throughout the country to mark that particular very important year in Gambian history. The tourism minister also tells his ministry's plan to make the bread industry 100% Gambian. For Gambia Tourism Hospitality Institute also, which is a satellite institute of the Ministry of Tourism, the development, uh, the development of a revised curriculum to international standards in tourism and hospitality with adequate teaching and learning materials at certificate level that meets the needs of the industry nationwide. Provide professional tourism and hospitality vacation training for over 3,500 youth during the period under review. Facilit facilitate training at master's degree level for members of staff. Establish a fully equipped bakery center in the capacity to train 100 bakers and pastry cooks every year. We want to increase this number. We are collaborating with the Ministry of Trade 
to make sure that we train at least 200 uh, bakers in the country because we want to take over the bakery industry back into the hands of Gambians. And the only way we can do this is to train Gambian to be able to take it over. We've started that with 100 Gambians. We want to increase that. We are collaborating with the Ministry of Trade so that young Gambians can be trained to be bakers and we start baking our own bread, our own Gambian bread, and not foreigners baking our bread. And that's one of our key objectives as a ministry, and we are working on that as we speak. The Regional Tourism Recovery Plan was approved by African Tourism Ministers in July 2021 as a collective and coordinated approach towards tourism recovery in the continent to revive the sector following the COVID-19 pandemic. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Landin Sise.